Listen, my name is Trent Shelton. I'm a former NFL player. Some people call me a motivational speaker. Some people call me a podcast host. I'm a father. I'm a husband. Some people call me an author. All of those things are great. But I am here today to really pour into your life. I want to talk about five pillars, right, that build greatness in your life. I want to talk about five pillars that hold up your building, as I like to say, of becoming legendary. And before I get started, I want to say this. Take something. I don't care if it's the whole 10 minute speech, if it's one sentence, take something and apply it to your life. Application creates transformation. I'm not just here to motivate you. Motivation is not enough. And to be honest, regular people, average people, and you're not average, depend on motivation to move. But legendary people move to create their motivation. The first pillar, all right, in creating a legendary life and creating your greatness, the first pillar that everybody has that I know that live at a high level, from professional athletes, from the mom and dad that you don't even know, from the people you look at online, everybody has these five pillars. The first one is commitment. And you know these words, but I want to dive a little deeper. Commitment is staying loyal to what you said you were going to do long after the mood you set in this left. 2020 is a perfect example. How many of you are keeping the promises that you made to yourself on January 1st? And I know you might say, well, Trent, I didn't plan for this, but Trent, you don't understand what's happening. Trust me, I get it. 2020 slapped me in the face too. But this is what I know. Inconvenience always exposes commitment. So you might say, Trent, well, how can I build and keep that commitment? This is what I know is true. People who keep their commitment people keep the promises that they make to themselves and other people is that they have a deep rooted reason on why they're doing what they do. I like to say a destination, right? Just imagine that you're driving to work or just imagine that you have to be at a certain destination. Maybe it's your kid's football game, but you have to be somewhere. If there's traffic, if there's a wreck, if there's whatever that's going to cause you to be late, do you turn around and say, oh, well, it's traffic. I'm going to go back home. No, you literally go on the service road, you create a new, a new route that Google don't even know about or, or Siri, and you find a way because the destination is important enough. It is the same thing with your life, the same thing with your goals, the same thing with your businesses that you're doing. When it's important enough, you will find a way. And when a destination is worth reaching, trust me, the path won't be perfect. But it's oftentimes the imperfect path that leads your life to the right place. It builds something inside of you that no perfection could have built. Right. There's no perfect year. If you allow this year to teach you, to grow you, to, to, to lead you to something that, you know, maybe the perfect year wouldn't have led you to. If you allow it to lead you to, to that, if you allow that to grow you in that, then I'm going to tell you right now, this year could be the most incredible year of your life. So number one is commitment. Number two is discipline. You know this word. Discipline is simply put like this. Get legendary at saying no to the things that don't get you your yes. Whatever that yes is. Maybe your yes is a financial goal. Maybe your yes is to bring a certain amount of people through your door. Maybe you have a personal yes, a professional yes. Whatever that yes is, burn every single bridge that's keeping you from accomplishing that. So if I'm you right now, I'm thinking about my habits. I'm thinking about my circle. I'm thinking about my routines. I'm thinking about just everything that is leading me to a place that, where I want to go. So oftentimes what I'm doing is I'm thinking about those habits, those people, and I think about them as a bridge. Where is this bridge leading me to? Is this bridge leading me to the place where I want to be? Or is it leading me away from the place where I want to be? Is it leading me to a greater version of myself? Or is it leading me to a lesser version of myself? And then from that answer, you make that decision. So burn every single bridge that leads your life back to destruction. Burn every single bridge that leads your life back to a poor mindset. Burn every single bridge that leads you back to a lesser version of yourself. So number two is discipline. Number three is consistency. Consistency simply means this. Every single day you show up, no matter how tough it may be, no matter how hard it may be, consistency makes you a go-to person, right? When you're consistent, you become reliable. When you're reliable, you become trustworthy. Think about this. Think about the places that you go to very often. Maybe your favorite food place, your favorite restaurant, right? Your favorite, you know, movie theater, your favorite friend, whatever it may be, you go there because of their consistency. Some of you might be thinking right now, because I used to think like this, Trent, I have a consistency problem. 
Like I struggle with consistency. I struggle with staying committed. Let me tell you this. You don't have a consistency problem, my friend. You have a commitment problem. And I'll break it down to you. There are a lot of things in your life that you're consistent at. You're consistent at brushing your teeth every single day, hopefully. You're consistent at maybe showing up to your job or maybe even jobs in the past that you didn't like, but you still showed up. I always use this example. Like I didn't like going to school, but I went to school every single day because I knew if I didn't show up to school, what was going to happen? And so when it comes to consistency, the reason why you're consistent, because you understand vividly what's going to happen if you don't show up for that. And the problem is a lot of times we say, oh, I'm not consistent at my dreams or my vision or my business. This is why you don't understand what it's costing you. Listen to me. You don't understand what it's costing you to not show up. You don't understand what it's costing you, right, to keep fighting, right? You don't understand because if you truly understood, you would keep being consistent. The reason why you went to a job that you hated for years, you understood vividly that if I didn't show up, I was going to get fired. If I got fired, I wasn't going to have enough money to pay my rent, et cetera, et cetera. You went down that whole timeline. So if you want to be more consistent, start feeling vividly what it's costing you not to show up. You don't have a consistency problem, my friend. You have an understanding how important it is problem. There's people depending on you to be consistent. There's strangers that need your business. There's strangers that need you to be the greatest you. All right, so consistency is number three. Number four is faith. And faith, there's a lot of aspects to faith, right? Spiritual aspect, there's so many different pillars of faith. But faith at its basic level is simply this. Believing that the impossible is possible. I like to define it by saying the only impossibilities that exist are the ones that you create. So many times we often live inside our limited mindset, right? We base what we can do based upon our circumstances, not on our faith. We base what we can do and we set our goals based upon, you know, just our past experiences. You have to grow the muscle of possibility. And I like to say this, go prove yourself wrong. If you think you can't bounce back from this year, well then go prove yourself wrong. Go prove yourself wrong. If you think that there's never going to be a better year than 2019 or whatever it may be, go prove yourself wrong. Grow the muscle of possibility. And even if it's something that has nothing to do with your business, uh, maybe it's something personally that you go do. One of the things that I often do every single week is I try to go do something that I've never done before. I always try to do it. Maybe it's running six miles if I never ran it. Maybe it's going to bike, you know, 20 miles if I never did that. Because I want to show myself that it's possible. I want to show myself that my greatest limitation is not external. Your greatest limitation, my friend, is not COVID-19. Your greatest limitation is not your failure. Your greatest limitation is not people not supporting you. Your greatest limitation is you. Your greatest limitation is what you choose to believe. So I'm often proving myself wrong until I get to a place where my confidence is so high that I go prove myself right. So faith is building confidence in yourself and faith is knowing that something is going to happen for your life, even if it hasn't happened yet. It's like having that gardener's mindset. A gardener knows that I'm going to plant this seed. I'm going to water this seed. And for a month and for weeks, nothing is going to happen above the surface. But I know if I stay disciplined, I know if I stay committed, I know if I water that seed with the right things, then I know that one day, that harvest is going to take place. One day that crop is going to arise. And I know that growth is taking place even when I can't see it growing. That is faith. And the last pillar, as I wrap this up, is heart. Muhammad Ali said it best. Suffer now and spend the rest of your life as a champion. I know times may be hard. I know you may have not even could even fathom and and plan for what you're currently going through. You might not be in control of what life gives you, but you sure are in control of how you respond. Suffer through discipline. Suffer through experiences. Suffer through commitment. You might say, Trent, what are you talking about with suffering? Put yourself through intentional suffering. Put yourself through intentional suffering of learning, of growing, of educating. Because when you do that, Guess what's going to happen? Mental toughness, 
Guess what's going to happen? Confidence. Guess what's going to happen? Emotional resilience. Because you're purposely putting yourself in a situation that you know for a fact is going to grow your life. A lot of people, they suffer through regret. They look back on their life and they realize that they wasted so much of their life. They look back on their life and they wish they can change things that they can no longer change. They look back on their life and they say, man, I wish I would have done some things different. Today's your day to make that choice, to make that decision, to make that change. Don't say tomorrow, don't say next year. One of my biggest fears, and I fear this for everybody, even myself, is to leave this earth with incompletion. But like I tell you at the end of every single video, it all starts with you. You go live that legendary life and let this be a chapter in your story, not your story. And when you look back and you read your story to your friends, your family, your kids, you can say, this part of the story that was so hard for me was the best part because it built something inside of me that no perfect story could have built. It's rehab time. Let's get it. I'll talk to you soon.